Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Friday, October 2nd of 2020. It seems to be on the mind of just about everyone these days. For the Christian, it's the question of how soon will Jesus return. For the unbeliever, it's a question of how long the earth will be able to sustain all that's going on. In Matthew chapter 24, the disciples tried to pin Jesus down to the time of his return and the end of the age. But Jesus' initial statement is so profound. He didn't answer their question, but said, Take heed that no one deceives you. In Second Peter chapter 3, this is exactly what Peter is saying when he writes, Since we know all these things will be dissolved, What manner of persons ought we to be in holy conduct and godliness as we look forward to your coming? In other words, we are to be focused on living a godly life while impacting those around us for the kingdom of God. So today, this morning's prayer reminds us not to lose sight of the goal, but to remain steadfast in our faith, regardless of the storms. Father, We must understand in the last days that scoffers will come, scoffing and following their evil desires. They deliberately forget that long ago, by your word, the heavens existed, and the earth was formed, and a great flood then destroyed the earth. O Father, how much will they then deny that this present heaven and earth are reserved for fire, being kept for the day of judgment, and the destruction of ungodly people. Let us never forget that with you, Father, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day. O Father, you are not slack in keeping your promises, but always right on time. You are patient with us, not wanting anyone to perish, but that all would come to repentance. As we look around these days, Father, It's easy to assume that you would return at any moment. But Jesus will come as a thief in the night. Nobody but you knows the exact timing, not even Jesus. The heavens will disappear with a roar. The elements shall be destroyed by fire. The earth and all that is in it will be laid bare. O Father, therefore, since all these things will be destroyed in this way, What manner of people ought we to be in holy conduct and godliness as we look forward to your return? Let us make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and at peace with you. We shall be on our guard so we may not be carried away by the error of lawless people and fall from our secure position. Father, we also shall grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to whom we give all glory, both now and forevermore. And it's in the name of Jesus that we pray this morning, Father. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.